Hello and uh, welcome back. My name is Ned and in this video series we will learn how to build a simple CRM application using the Caspio platform. In part 3 of this video series I will teach you how to create user authentications and how each user level will see different application functionality based on their privileges. Let's take a look. We ended the last video learning how to establish a simple relationship between the staff table and the contact table. The staff table is the user table because it contains all the employee credentials including the role field that's going to be used to identify managers, employees, supervisors and all the other different user roles that your application is going to have. Once you have your staff table created, the next step is to go to the views object and the views object is going to be used to filter out managers and to filter out employees. In other words, the views object is used to filter information from the table that you want to see. So let's set up our first view and let's go ahead and call this SCRM Active Managers. You can start with the employees or you can start with the managers. It's completely up to you. And what we're trying to accomplish in this view is to only filter active managers and we're going to filter that data from the staff table that we created in the prior video so let's move the staff table to the right and then on the following screen you will see this tab call criteria and we're going to use these elements on the left hand side and we're going to snap them in place on the right side in order to filter data that we want to see from that staff table now if you want to start over you can just hold the widget hover over the trash can and release this is the original anchor. You can never move this anywhere. So now how do I define this just to filter active managers from the user table? We're going to move over to field element and I want to select the field called role and I want that field to equal to manager and I also want, since I'm looking for active managers, I want to drag one more field to the right and I want the status field to be checked. So if both of these conditions are true, if role equals to manager and if the status is checked, this view now is going to filter only active managers. Now notice that my view doesn't actually show any data. The reason why is because our staff table at the moment doesn't have any records inside it. So let's go ahead and try and fix that. We're going to go directly to our tables now. Open up the staff table and as you can see our staff table doesn't have any data so let's go ahead and add some sample data to our table so that we can test this out now that I have quickly populated my table with some sample data you can see that my role field contains one manager and we currently have two employees at the moment all of the staff members are selected as active now that we've added some sample data to this table if I go back to the view that's only filtering active managers which in this case is John Doe if I open up this view, you're now going to be able to see only John Doe filtered in this view. Now let's go ahead and set up our second view that filters out active employees, who in this case are Kelly and Tom. So we're going to set up the second view, and let's go ahead and call this SCRM Active Employees. Once again from the same staff table, we'll hit Next, and then using the Criteria tab, we're going to move over to field element and we're going to select role equals to employee now and that the status is checked. Once you hit finish, this view is now only going to filter Kelly and Tom. This is how in Caspio you're going to separate your user groups using the views because once you have that role field and you define in the role field who is going to have what level access you can use the views to separate them to filter the proper information and who's going to have access to what forms and reports later on. Once you set up both of your views, the next step is to go down to the authentications object. And the way I want you to think about the authentication object, all this really is, is a login screen that you see on the website. So every time you see an email and password combination and a login button, that's essentially what we're going to be building in the next couple of minutes. So let me show you how to set up both of these login screens, one for the managers and one for the employees. Let's begin with the manager login screen. I'm going to click on new here. And using the authentication data source, I am going to select my view that's filtering 
John Doe. So here's the view that we just created and keep in mind that this view is only filtering John Doe. So let's start this way. You have two setup options. You can either use Express. Express is a little bit limited. It only allows for two login fields. So if you need a quick Express login screen, you're welcome to do that. I recommend custom and the reason why is because you have a lot more customization options. And you have four ways on how you can allow your users to log into the application. The first way is the recommended, which is using the Caspio view, the one that's filtering John Doe. And down below you will see your two fields, email and password. If you want John Doe to log in using his social media account, for example his Gmail or Twitter account, you can select the second radio button and then you're going to have to configure the options below. If you want John to log in using both the social media and the data that you have inside Caspio, you can use the third radio button. And finally, you can use a single sign-on or active directory. So if you already have an online repository where you store all of your employee credentials, you can use those same credentials to log into the Caspio application simultaneously. This way you're not using two separate credentials, you're only using one to log into both places. For our demo, we're going to use recommended and down below you will see two fields, email and password. I always like to rename my label for email instead of username to say email. Scroll down and expand the section for advanced settings. I recommend that you go through each one of these to see what it does. We're not going to spend any time on the video today because we don't have a need for it. So what I will do is simply click on create. And we're going to call this authentication or login screen as CRM manager login. So now we have this login screen that's only allowing John Doe to log in because it's built on the view that's filtering John's information. Now let's build our second login screen that actually gives access to Tom and Kelly. So we're going to select that view that filters our employees. Let's go with custom, recommended, and once again I'm going to select email and click on create. And we're going to call this SCRM employee login. Once you're done, you now have your second login screen created. This one gives access to John Doe and this login screen is going to give access to Kelly and Tom. Once you get to this point of your application, you can give yourself a little tap on the shoulder. This is really as difficult as it gets in setting up a Caspio foundation. Join me in the next video where we now begin building forms and reports. So you can see how we can build these forms and reports in order to create workflows, submit data, look at data, charting capability, and all the other fun functionality in part four of this video series. I'll see you there.